Beside me is my 2022 Tesla Model X long range and we have a snowstorm blizzard happening right now. The car has the Nokian Hagapalita R5 SUV winter tires. They're studless, 265, 45 or 20. The Model X is a staggered fit stock but I decided to go like this so that I can actually rotate it. The wheels in the back are wider than the ones on the front. The car is in its highest suspension setting. That's kind of the wheel gap we have for the fenders when it's all the way up. But the problem is you can't drive the car like this. If you drive it above 24 kilometers an hour, it will automatically lower it. Then we have the high, which is 56 kilometer and medium is kind of where we can be. Usually the car always defaults to low. They have the automatic raise at this location, but yeah, that was the car on the highest setting. And then here it is in medium. So I still get quite a bit of ground clearance. I believe I test drove the 2018 Model X and I could actually put it on very high and drive it like that. It didn't automatically lower it. I'm gonna do this test on the low because this is kind of how I drive in the summer and I wanna see how the car will perform in this kind of temperature and also with the winter tires that the car currently has on it. The weather shows it's minus 15, car shows minus 13. We're at 89% battery. I have the climate at 21 degrees. I'm gonna leave it here at auto. The rear is not on, but you do feel a little bit of cold coming from the back. I'm going to test it without having the rear on because I think the front is the most important right now, especially if you're trying to get the best range and no one's sitting in the back. I think it's important to see what kind of range you're getting yourself. This here is the regenerative braking is limited kind of icon. It took me quite a bit of time to figure out what it is because it didn't say what it is. Um, it just light up right there, but that's what that symbol is. I have the GoPro here and we will do some little bit of a time lapse. This is the traffic around Calgary right now. It is very, very busy. Like look at this live traffic. Uh, it's a big snowstorm that just hit. Um, it's been snowing like since like morning or midnight even I would say. I just haven't really stopped. It's still snowing as you see. And we had snow on the ground prior to that, so it is a bit icy now underneath the snow. Uh, these tires, I'm very confident on them. I think they're gonna do very, very good, in my opinion. So the place I wanna go to is going to be Crossfield. It's quite far from us, as you see. So it should give us a good range estimates of how we're doing. Uh, it's a subway, I'm a bit hungry, and it is going to be a 58.5 kilometers, it says, but once I hit this, it should be much more than that. Yeah, I see it's 79 kilometers. It says we'll be there with 67% battery. It's 89% battery right now. And 6.44 p.m. So it's a one hour, 13 minute drive. I will go over to the trips here and then reset the trip A so that it's going to be uh, all new zero kilometers. So we'll see what kind of uh, average energy we're using. I will also open up the energy app here and then we have the trip here. So it estimates us to be there again with 66.7% battery. I will be driving the speed limit. I'm going to go below that even obviously because the conditions aren't that great but we'll just see what kind of range we're getting whenever I'm driving like that. So we'll see if this projection is gonna be anything right or wrong. We do have a bit of a frozen ice on the glass here. We do have the heated wipers here, but in order to like melt all this and then heat up this windshield and clear it up and we get like fog, as you can see here, building up on the glass of like frost and all that, like look at that. This barely ever goes away, this frost. Um, there's that even at the back so what you do is you hit this and if you do it like this it's gonna defrost but it's automatically putting it at high so it will end up using quite a bit of battery so we'll have it like this and then I will turn it off eventually uh, so that's gonna use quite a bit of power I assume but it will tell us right here so this is climate it'll show us how it does so let's go on the trip We 
arrived with 66% battery, minus 14 degrees Celsius it is right now. The watch says minus 15 still. And this is kind of the projected range. Apparently we did more than the car predicted. So 1.3% less than what it thought we would use. So we used 22.8% battery to drive 81 kilometers. That used 20 kilowatt hours of the battery. Average energy is 250 watt hours per kilometer. Seems like we didn't do that great at the beginning of the trip, but then later on, uh, we started improving on that. If we look, driving used 18.4% of the battery and climate used 2.7% of the battery. Everything else 1.2%. Then we have the elevation rate here, 0.5%. So going uphill costed 2.4% and going downhill saved 1.8% since our last charge. The low tire pressure cost 0.3%. It says it's 44 and then 42 on the other one. If I go over to the display settings here, we can go over to distance instead of percentage and this is kind of what it looks like right here then we have the trip that's how it turned out but yeah we did use 6.9 kilometer less than the car thought here it is in miles for my american viewers right there and then of course the rated that's how we're doing it's eight degrees fahrenheit so yeah we can come back and see what kind of kilometers we have left in the battery um, after i grab something to eat it's snowing pretty heavily as you could tell Grab the sub, and there's the Model X right there, in the snow. Okay. So let's go see what the Model X looks like, how many kilometers it shows now, after I just had a quick dinner here. First things first, we're gonna clean the camera, just like that. And then we're gonna hop in and see what it shows here. So the time is 7.16 p.m and the range shows 359 kilometers. I will be defrosting the car. At the same time, let's turn on the wiper heaters here. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. And look at that. Whenever you have the snow on the car, it's actually really cool, like this windshield, like look. It's a different experience. It's like something you have to be in the car and having snow on top of the windshield, if it's making sense. But it is really interesting the way it looks. Like, check this out. Here's in the ultra wide. That's what it looks like. Good enough. Uh, I'm gonna go over to, this is the supercharger we have in Calgary. It's like only two available. It's usually really, really busy all the time. I want to find Costco here, that should be the one. And uh, let's head down to Costco and see what percentage we'll have. So it says we'll be there with 58% battery. I will go back out of the distance so that we'll have percentage, that's the kilometers there. And then here we are to percentage, and this is in miles by the way, so 222 miles. But off we go and uh see if this is going to be any accurate it should have reset that yep shows us the projection so let's see if we're heading south how are we going to be doing because heading north we ended up doing better and i'm going to drive in a similar way like i'm not going to do anything different so let's see how it turns out Just arrived to Costco with 58% battery. We used 7.5% of the battery. That was 1% more than the car thought. And uh, here's kind of how it went. Climate used 1.3% on that trip. Um, so yeah, I mean, I did have to use the defroster quite a bit because it was like frozen up and frosting this part of the glass. And uh, I wanted to make sure it's all clean. So we did use this on high and that ended up uh, causing quite a bit of usage on that let's look at the rated since last charge this is kind of how we're doing climate use 5.2 percent of the battery so far we drove 117 kilometers and used 29 kilowatt hours of the battery so 117 kilometers and used 34.7 percent of the battery pack minus 16 degrees the car says minus 14 so 57 percent battery 
Uh, let's quickly look here at the display, just a quick way. We've got the uh, Fahrenheit, eight degrees. And then if we look here to the distance, this is kind of how we're doing. Let's go over to the trip. That's how the trip went. So yeah, 316 kilometers. Let's uh, go in and see uh, what kind of range we'll have whenever I get back. Here it is in miles right there, 196 miles. So yeah, let's just go in. There's the Moto X. The backup camera is covered once again. I don't lock after I walked away. Did get some smart bulbs. I mean, look at that. We're at 314 kilometers. You can hear the AC working to heat it up. It is 9.20 p.m. and it's time to get home. We're at 48% battery. Uh, let's just see what this says. It says we should be there with 40% battery, 39.8. So we will go and see what kind of results we get. Just made it home with 37% battery. This is how we did. I went with the speed limit, below the speed limit, didn't go over the limit. But here's how we did. 2.6% more than the trip projection, unfortunately. So we didn't do that great, but that's because I have used the heat quite a bit. I'm guessing that's why, because look, 1.2% is the climate itself. Um, and 2.6% right there. Driving 9.5%, this is kind of how we did. If I go over here to the rated, we have used today 54.3% of the battery, 21.5% more than estimated vehicle consumption. So I'm guessing this is like when we have the perfect weather condition. So, you know, in reality, we should have used, let's say 33%, something like that for today's trip, but we used 54.3%. This is the stats. So 42% for driving, 8.3% for climate, battery conditioning zero, elevation 0.2%, everything else 3.9%. And going uphill costed us 4.8%, and then it saved us 4.5% when we went downhill. Everything else 3.9%. Take a look here at park. During park, sentry mode used 1.8%. Preconditioning used 1.6%. Plug in a charger when preconditioning battery in cabin to reduce energy loss. Screen time using the touchscreen while parked will use energy. Consider plugging in a charger. So those are kind of how we did. And again, that's the trip right there. Arrived with 36.8%. If I go over here to the display, I can turn it into distance. We have 200 kilometers left on the battery minus 16 degrees, four degrees Fahrenheit, 124 miles. So this was the trip we just had, consumed 61.2 kilometers, 14.2 kilometers more than what the trip projected. We go here, this is the stats in kilometers. Low tire pressure costed us 4.3 kilometers. So let's look here what it says. It says 41 and then also 43 on the other ones. We'll check that in a sec. I believe we left home with 95% battery. And right here, it says we used 119.7 kilometers more than what the estimated vehicle consumption is. 300 kilometers is what we consumed, for example, today. But we drove, let's look here, we drove 172 kilometers and used 45 kilowatt hours of the battery, 259 watt hours per kilometer. And there's the trip right there, as well as since last charge. That's what the Model X looks like. It is all snowy. There is the Model Ys. Let's look at the tire pressure, let's try and see. 42.4. So definitely it did lose quite a bit of pressure. Let's go see what the other ones are because they were showing, I think, 43. 43.6. So yeah, guys, that was the trip today. The car did fantastic. The range, we lose quite a bit because of the negative temperatures. The watch says it's minus 18 degrees. The winter tires that the Model X has right now is doing an amazing job. Uh, it was having amazing traction. So I highly recommend you guys to put the R5 winter tires on your Model X. We have the R3s on this GLC as well as on that Model Y and we're getting the R5s also for the gray Model Y performance. We are just waiting for the 19 inch wheels to arrive. They have been delayed multiple times. Uh, it's pretty much these wheels right here. These are the 19 inch replica wheels. They're like literally the Uber turbine wheels except 19 inch replicas. Uh, they look great and yeah, the Model Y performance here, the red one has 19 inch tires on it as well as the other one has 21 inch tires all season so we're not really driving that one 
uh, but those tires are not good whatsoever, the Michelin Pilot Sports. So that car is just pretty much parked right there. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting to get the tires on that one. R5 tire guys, very good, highly recommended. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.